Hey, Francis. Hello, brother. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, I recorded you before, but sadly I couldn't upload the recording mm. because, uh, unfortunately, I forgot to put the mic on properly. Yeah. Right. So my my stupidity. No, that's but right. I'm here back again after a while because hey, I've been sadly quite sick. Yeah. Okay. So prayer for me, brother. Oh, okay. So I just wanted to uh, ask about and let people know where to find you. Mm. Because I'm gonna be posting all your links and where people can find you and contact you or contact through me. But yeah. the thing is, I want to talk about your persecution that you have faced since mm. you have left uh islam became a christian so i just want you to have the stage and just converse directly in the camera yeah. without any interruption of all the things you've been through and i'll just <laughs> speak to you via the questions i mean brother. yeah so some of the things i have been through is mostly fam family issues i'm not going to tell you what happened to me with these family issues because i don't want to disrespect my parents in a way but yes when you do come to christianity the muslims the family you're the the family that you come from they do persecute you, they do pretty much d disown you in a way and they pretty much say so many things upon you which can pretty much bring you down in, the w uh, in a really negative manner and like yeah so I came to Christ four years ago, I was born again four years ago and since I was born again that's when persecutions happened not just my family members but also the people who I grew up with they were saying so many things to me, so many threats they were making to me but the Lord was always with me, His peace was with me, His comfort was with me and the Lord just stood by myself. Uh, the Lord stood by me every, um, through every single persecution I face. And yes, when you come to when you come to Christ, there is there is a persecution. You will be flogged. You will be hated for the name of Christ because we are not of this world. Amen. We are of the kingdom of God. Amen. And the devil rules this world, so of course the devil is going to bring his people to go against you. Hmm. And so many people you see in Pakistan and Nigeria, these people are going through much worse uh, persecution than what I went through. The persecution what I went through was was nothing. What these brothers and sisters were going through Nigeria and in Pakistan and in other countries, in other Muslim countries, in other Muslim countries. But yeah, when I when I did come to Christ, I had to leave my um, household because a lot of people found out my conver about my conversion. Ever since I put my foot in a, in a park and preached the, uh, the gospel to these Muslims, these Muslims did not like it. And everywhere I went, these Muslims would use foul language against me. And I was getting a point, it was getting very dangerous in my, in my town because the, um, my neighbors found out, my street hood found out. The mosques found out by my conversion and still still my family are, in, are waiting for me to speak to the Imam about my conversion which he has only recently found out so I'm still waiting to speak to him and hopefully bring him to Christ in the name of Jesus with the power of the Holy Spirit but yeah that's the um, so the, that's the that's one persecution that's 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 something that I face through in my time so a question to... then so all the people who have uh, like yeah. the, the mosque came to know your family came to know mm. your relatives came to know you had to leave a city in this country mm. in this country you had to leave a city yeah how does that even come to the point mm. in this country where we have democracy yeah so-called without with the looks of it mm. that you had to face if you were in pakistan mm. supposing lahore i would understand yeah that all the things happening <laughs> to you yeah but in this country what do you would you say to that basically because they, they want to kill you for your faith i know people who who are mental me who knows people who knows over 50 people in the united kingdom that have been killed for their faith over 50 people who who's that i i, I can i have came across these people have been killed because of their faith somebody if somebody who mentored me had 50 students and they all have been killed because of their faith and these muslims love to implement the sharia law in the united kingdom they love to implement the laws in their kingdom they love to use the term that we are taking over that we are trying to dominate the uh, the kingdom Exactly, they, they, they love to use these terms, but in reality, Christ is going to reign and we Christians are not wimps, we are not dormas, we are not your dimmies. We are going to stand our grounds. What and because everyone finds out they were lying? And because my whole family members found out about my conversion, I cannot trust these people because I know the, the amount of terrorism that has gone on with Islam because, the, because of, why, because of the, uh, the apostate law in Islam, when somebody leaves, you have to kill them, right? That's the apostate law. Okay, somebody's... Yeah. So, so the old, you, you want to talk brother? Wait, sorry, ignore, 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 completely ignore, ignore. I'm just interviewing, please, God, God bless you. Are you Muslim? No, I'm not. Right, uh, so the only thing I'm going to say to you in regards to 
the, the level of the level of disrespect, the level of persecution mm. you have faced so far, even in the far why are people coming calling you out, mm. all these Nazi things. Just ignore them, just pray God yeah. bless you and that's it. That's Literally it. because these people have got mm. they're blinded. Mm. That's I, right. We were Muslims. Mm. We know exactly how the how the blind works, right? The blind person never ever ever go to a straight path. It always is wingling, right? Mm. It just swindled through. In all honesty, where can people find you? Where can people converse I keep, with I you? I have to keep myself low key. Okay. I keep myself undercover because of all these. How can people contact you? Through me? Through probably you, you can contact for you. Through me. Because all these these Muslims, they love to cause threats to you. They love to try to find you. Yeah. Go to your houses. Go to find you in the streets. And they would love to do, that, that, do damage to you. Yeah. That's what they would want to do to the apostates. And the apostate law, as I was saying, is capital punishment. And I can't risk that. I know many Muslims who have pretty much died because of the faith. That's the reason why I have to leave my city is because I may face something like this where the people in my previous city may be looking for me because my whole mosque found out about my conversion and I can't take the risk. If they are looking for me, they can put my life in danger. Even though we preach the gospel of Christ, we put ourselves in danger for Christ, but it does not mean we can, we, 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 it does not mean we should like put, put ourselves in risk a lot more, you know? Yeah, because we have to be um, what do you call it? Innocent as a dove, yes. or wise as a serpent. serpent yes. So this is the cross of ascension, brother. Okay. This is Eastern Orthodox cross so that we uh, that was raised. Mm. The ascension of cross, mm. powered by Saint Constantine, Saint Helen. Mm. So this is the beauty that I have brought today to show that the soul, that the beauty of the cross is oh, wow. that we all united under one cross. Oh, amen. That's the beauty that we all pray for all the people around here. <laughs> For whatever it's going through, because there's so many issues that can happen on the world, that can happen on earth. But all we do is everything we do with love. We do not have any regards or disrespect towards anyone. Mm. They can disrespect us, but we still say, God bless you. That's right. And that's yes. the beauty of our, our, mm. our faith. That's the beauty of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Last but not the least. I want to sit here. I really, really just want you to have the flow mm. and just talk to the person who's listening to you, whether it's a Muslim, whether it's a Christian, mm. whether it's a Jew, Hindu, whoever. What would you say to people? But all by yourself. I mean, this is his message. To these, to the people listening, to those who think you're a Muslim because of your family members, to those who want to become a Muslim because of their pride and honor, are you really following the truth or are you following your family members? Are you really following Islam because of that pride and honor you gain like a Pharisee? If you humble yourself and come to Christ, if you really want to find the truth, the truth will come to you. Yeah. So many of my family members, they are practicing Muslims, but they have no idea if it's truth or not. They, they think Islam is truth because of, the family, because of the family members and what they have instigated upon them. But that's not truth. You're, you're being brainwashed by your family members. So my, my, brothers, and sister, my brothers and sisters who, are, who, who come from the background of Islam, I suggest you to come to the truth. Come and find out Jesus' real note. He has appeared to many Muslims in visions and dreams. I myself had a personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ and you too can have it. If you seek, you should find it. If you ask, the door should be open to you. And if you not, if you ask, um, oh man, I can't, I can't that's do it, man. Sorry. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. It's alright. Ignore. Do you want to talk? You can talk. You can talk. Brother, you got a mask on.